That's what it's about. It's not just about the one voice. I think it's just a good attitude to have. Um, yeah. But it's okay. And, and so I, I guess I would say in auditioning, because we could probably talk about that for another hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In auditioning itself, be open as we're talking about directability and audition etiquette, be uh -huh. open to what the director is saying the entire time. Yeah. What what the director is saying, what the musical director is saying, what the uh -huh. choreographer is saying, uh -huh. what any person there who has that say, be be listening. I know when I'm at an audition, I like listen to every mm. single word said, not just when it's said to me, right. but I listen to the note that they gave to the other person. That's good. Because I, I want to apply that. I don't, if it was a shift it, I don't want to do that same thing again. Yep. Right. Um, but then it's also knowing that it's not just about Jean Valjean. It's not just about Hamilton. Yep. There's really good guy characters. <laughs> It's not just about Elphaba and Glenda. <laughs> um, it's about everybody. Yeah. Mr. Newman, do you think there comes a point where, what do you, what would you say if I had my heart set on one role, just I'm going to go for that role, but the director asks me to read for another role? Oh. What do I do in that moment? You got to stay positive. Yeah. got to stay up. Because mm -hmm. it would be so easy just to be like, and give up. Just to drop and yeah. get depressed and say, okay, well, I give up. Right. But you can't do that. Mm -mm. Like, if you, okay, if you <laughs> love theater and you're going for this and you want that role, you have to be open to loving theater more than you love that part. Ooh. Right? That's profound. Whoa. That's, you should write that down. Well, we well, recorded we it. We recorded it. It's so, good. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, it's just so important to go with whatever the director's saying and not to let that drop and not to let that depress you. But it's hard to stay focused totally. and to stay up. But you gotta attack that that role that they just told you to read instead of the one you wanted. You yeah. gotta attack it with passion and with excitement and with joy. Um, and the same oomph, right? And the same oomph that you wanted to do that other role. Right. And different things will happen. If you go for it, you may get that role and you may find, actually, I like this role better than the other one. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the lead role, hey, this is a secret. Sometimes like the lead role or even like the title of the show is not actually the best part. It's not the most fun. And it's not the most fun. It's not, sometimes it's not even the one that has the most songs or the most stage time. Or the one the audience loves the Or the, the one the audience loves. What? Sometimes. So that goes back to doing your research and yeah. knowing <laughs> the show. Yeah. Because sometimes it's not the lead role and we all want the lead role. And some of the other ones are actually more fun or more suited for us. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, when the director asks you to do something different for another character, just go for it. And maybe they want to see if you will and they still want to cast you as the character you wanted to do. You don't know what's going on. You don't know. Just go for it. Yeah. Have you had that happen? Oh, man. Do you have a story? I do. Man. We story can, time. We just do story time. I know. Um, so, yeah. I know, Mr. Human, you've heard this story because I just told it to you. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I've heard it before. Too, but too. you've heard it before. Because it's really, I think, as a director, I learned now. Yeah. Oh. I get it. Right. So, I was auditioning, again, for a show I had done multiple times. And I really wanted a different role. This Wait, time. why would you do the same show like three times? Because man, it is fun. Because you love theater. I love theater, and you know what? It's one of those things where I go, "This is I'm auditioning. Right. This is what they're doing, so I'm gonna audition." Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh no, it's, go, ahead, go ahead. I love theater. Yeah. yeah no, I can name quite a few of those moments. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Done this one three times. This one. But anyway, so I auditioned, and. I played that role. I played a role in the show. Should I just say the show? Yeah. Go okay, so I was auditioning for Bye Bye Birdie. Bye Bye Birdie. And it was fun and exciting and all the jazz of Bye Bye Birdie. Mm -hmm. In high school, I had played the role of Mrs. McAfee and it was really, really fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a blast. She's fun. Great. Now I was in uh, not high school. Mm -hmm. So we won't say how many years ago that was. And I was starting to discover my belt, my belt a little bit. Okay. It, not it, just discovering it. Right. So I really wanted to play Rosie this time. 
Oh, fun. I wanted to be Rosie. That just sounded like a blast. And so I was at the callback and I was asked to read for Mrs. McAfee. And I went in, in I will say mm -hmm. internally, my heart was like, no, <laughs> I don't want to play Mrs. McAfee again. Uh -huh. um, but I did it. Yeah. And I read for it with the same passion and gusto that I read for Rosie. Yeah. And to be honest, when I go to an audition, I sit and read the director the entire time. You watch. I watch everything. I can most of the time, 99% times cast the show after a callback. Just after seeing, mm -hmm. that's talent. Because I'm, I'm, I'm in You're it. Watching. I'm in it to, right. to do my best, my best. Hey, when I go into an audition, I say, I'm gonna give it my all all I can do, my very best, that's all I can do. Mm -hmm. If I've done that, then I'm I'm satisfied. Yeah. You know? That's good. Yeah. That's all you can do. So I did it for Mrs. McAfee. I read, I sang, I did all the things. I listened to what the director wanted. I understood what she wanted. Yeah. I did it. And guess what part I got? This one I did get casted in. <laughs> Mrs. McAfee? I got Mrs. McAfee! What? And I went, no! Uh, I got Mrs. McAfee again. again! But! But! Then what? It turned out to be one of the most fun roles I have ever played. What? She has like 10 lines in the whole show. Right. She's got some cool songs that she's a part of. Yeah. But she's got like 10 lines. The director let me go as big and crazy as I that wanted to. Fun. So this really nutty mom mm -hmm. character right. is what with red hair that was like this right. was what <laughs> happened. I love that. And it was the most fun role. Maybe ten lines. Yeah. But every time I was on stage, I was in that character. And I was having a blast. That's awesome. And people, I would hear comments from the director. So I had these people come up to me and be like, where's, where's that little redheaded girl? She, well, that's Charlie nice. Brown. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but because it became like this yeah. comic relief character, like that's you were saying, cool. the audience was like, where's that comedic per right. person? Because you got to, I got, there's, there was just no limit. Yeah. I could be as crazy as I wanted. Good to be. story. Oh, uh, and honestly, I had thought about quitting. Yeah. Am I, can I be real, vulnerable? Hey, I didn't want to do it again. Important. And I didn't quit. And I am mm. so, so, so grateful. One of the best performance, mm. fun experiences ever. That's good. Yeah. It's a great story. Yeah. I loved it. Good stuff. So this is, gosh, we could probably go on forever and ever. We really could. I, I, I would end with this last thing. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep going. In the whole encompassing thing, so you've heard quite a bit in this podcast. Maybe we should do this more often. We probably should, okay. actually. All right, we'll do that. It'll be our goal this year. We just recorded it, so. Cool. It means we have to. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's, all, it's like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, think holistically, you, your, your heart's got to be in it, your mm -hmm. mind's got to be in it, your, your attitude has to be in it. Um, give it your best, your all. And I will even say, if you've done your research, there's one other element that I would, I would encourage, mm. and that is knowing how to dress for that role and that audition. Mm. It's a small thing. That's important. But you obviously are walking into the audition probably with a certain role in mind and that's great and that's yeah. fantastic and go for it just be flexible yeah but if i'm going in for that mary in the librarian role i'm not gonna dress with gibson girl hair and in an old like 19 turn of the century costume but right. i'm going to probably dress like a modern Marion would look. Mm. I'm gonna wear a dress. Yeah. I'm gonna have 
but it's gonna be that, that conservative, modest Marian style. I'm gonna do my hair in a way that I just want the director to, when they see me, to yeah. instantly put me there and right. then they can hear me and go, yes, I like it all. Yes. So think about that and how you present yourself even in that way, um, not dressing in costume. We don't like that. Right. So if I'm auditioning for the Beast, the Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> I shouldn't like dress up like the Beast with the big like no. horns and the mask. I would, the... I'm not going to tell you to take that mask off. Okay. Because that was your face. Well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> no, don't come in costume. Okay. But you would probably dress nice, maybe like like artsy, yeah. laser, right. princely. Right. You know? Yeah. Makes sense. An ode to. An ode. Oh, that's a good way to say it. Yeah. yeah. If you're auditioning for Annie Get Your Gun, don't mm. necessarily come with Annie's costume with dirt all over your face and right. and a belt with like birds around your oh, But yeah. I've auditioned for that role too. And I didn't dress up like I would at the Marion audition. Right. I did dress differently. It makes sense. Because they're sense. different characters. Mm -hmm. All goes back to research. It's true. Anything else, Mr. Heaney? Wow. There's like a lot of stuff. So we we'll do it again. About. We should do it again. Um, but I would say just to wrap it up, try to get in the mindset where auditions are fun. Ooh. So, so take everything we have been saying in these podcast <laughs> times and um, have fun. Yeah. Be prepared. Come ready to be adaptable and do whatever the director tells you to do. Be willing to get a part you didn't think you wanted. Yeah. Um, and you can have fun mm -hmm. at an audition. Even before the show gets cast, whether you're in it or not, whether you're in the role you wanted or not, um, whether maybe you don't care what role you get. Um, even before the show happens, have fun at the audition. Yeah. Um, you want to raise your chances of being able to be in every show that you audition for. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that you do that is just by being relaxed, being, um, letting them see who you are mm -hmm. as a person, um, that you're kind, that you're good to work with, mm -hmm. that you're a hard worker, um, and that you're passionate about yeah. theater. Um, not just your talent. I think talent isn't always the main thing that a director is going to look at. No, I agree. Yeah. I agree completely. I started putting myself in the mindset of um, auditions. I love to perform. Love mm. performance. Yes. Lo I love rehearsals. Gosh, I'm that oh, person too. that like can't wait oh, it's so fun. to get to rehearsal. And then the performance comes and that's cool. Yeah. But I kind of miss rehearsal. Right. <laughs> It's part um, of the process. It's part of the process. Yeah. Well, and that's all. Maybe that's our next part. Uh, actually, that's <laughs> a good. One. That's good. Um, ding, ding, ding. But I started to have to tell myself, I love performance. Mm -hmm. This is a performance. Oh, that's good. That's what it is. That's it's true. just a one-minute performance. Yep. So I'm gonna have fun like I would performing because that's mm -hmm. what the director wants to see. Right. And I enjoy that part. And I think it takes some of the pressure off when you realize that it's not your decision as a performer what where you get cast in the play. Nope. It's not your decision. It's you show what you have mm -hmm. and they put you where they need you. Yeah. It's I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves thinking that if I do well, then I'll get what I want. And if I don't do well, then I won't get it. Right. And th that's a good question. So yeah. if I don't get the lead, or if mm -hmm. I don't get that role I was looking at, does that mean I'm not as good as that person? Probably that's not what it means. Probably that's not what it means. Um, most of the time, it's just about a lot of other factors. And just where do you fit? Yeah, there's uh, a whole puzzle. There's a lot of roles I wanna play that I just don't fit. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Like I can go audition for them a hundred times and I may never get it. Because they're not going to see me and say, oh, yeah, you fit in this role. They're going to put me in the other one where I fit. Yeah. And that's okay. Because it doesn't have anything to do with um, your level of talent. It's not a reflection on how good you are. Yeah. Totally. 
Totally. I mean, that's not an excuse, <laughs> but like not try to be good. Oh, for sure. Like you gotta try. If you show your best and you try to be good, that's yes. different, that's different. 100%. Yes. I've seen people not try for a role because they didn't think they were good enough. Oh. And I've cast them in that role because they were for, they were perfect for that role. They fit. Yep. Yeah. So that's a good point too. That's a really great point. You got to try even if you don't think you're good enough for something. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, come on. 100%. And I think it go then in the end, you know, have fun. It's just another performance. Mm -hmm. It's ultimately not up to you. Mm. But what is up to you? What? Is giving it your all. Yes. The whole time. Every time. Every and, second. And having a good attitude. Mm -hmm. The whole time. Mm -hmm. And being adaptable. Yeah. The whole time. Yeah. That is up to you. Yep. Yeah. That's a choice. Yep. Yeah. And those choices make a big difference. They, I get, that's our whole point yeah. with what we said is those things make a big difference. So what you can do is very important. Yeah. So have fun. For audition well. Audition well. Every time you audition for whatever you audition. Yep.